Welcome back to Hoya Outdoors. <laughs> Sitting in the rig here and uh, behind my decoy spread, actually. I'm in a field. I don't know how good you guys can see it out there. You can see some of the decoys, but. Gary and I were in this field last night. I'm sure you'll see that video before this one. Just kind of out here for a. Hail Mary mission this morning. I don't really want to get dirty and do a whole bunch of work in a slew, so I figured why not just come back out to this feed. We did pound it last night, but I'm about 450 yards to the <clears throat> west of where me and Gary were sitting last night, so we'll see what happens. I changed the spread way up last, from what we had it last night because the birds didn't really seem to like what me and Gary had. So we'll see what happens. If I can get a few to at least fly over me high enough to shoot, that'll be good enough. So if you guys haven't seen the video of me and Gary field hunting, we did get uh, three geese and Gary did end up getting a snow goose as well. So pretty tired this morning, 5.52 right now. Shooting time is 6.48, so I'm kind of just sitting here eating some breakfast, gathering up my stuff. I got everything set up, layout blind was already blinded in, so that was phenomenal. Running about six and a half to seven dozen decoys, not too much, but I've got everything way spread out, family groups, so don't really care where they land, I just wanna get a shot at them, so hopefully it all works out. You guys stay tuned, catch you about shooting time. Well guys, I don't know what you can see here, but attempt to show you guys the spread here. So I've kinda got myself surrounded with the shells that we've got. I got a couple family groups behind us. A couple family groups out into here. They extend out about 20 yards out there. And then I got just a couple groups right in front here. Group here. And then I got this group, this uh, line out here on my right extending about 30 yards. Just to hopefully stop them from passing me and going, but it'll probably end up happening anyways, so. Yeah, um, for those of you guys that haven't field hunted before, seven dozen decoys doesn't feel like a lot when it gets light out. If you spread them out. Ideally, 15 to 20 dozen would probably be about right, but depends on how big the feed is you're hunting. Um, dig my phone out here. It's uh, 6.41. I can shoot in seven minutes, but... Uh, if you know anything about goose hunting a field in the morning, it's usually about a half an hour to 45 minutes after shooting time that they fly. But you never know, and it's freaking pitch black out yet, and I can't believe I got seven minutes till shooting time. So stay tuned. I will definitely be turning you guys on if we got some geese headed our way, and we'll see what happens. Update for you guys here. It's currently 20 after 8. I've seen about 30 geese. Most of them went past me behind to the uh, <clears throat> in our direction over here. But I did have one group that was relatively close enough to shoot at. And I rattled off all three and missed them all. The first shot, it looked like I freaking drilled him. But no, he kept going. So that'll happen. These early season birds, I tell you, they just don't want to decoy. There's no way they're seeing anything. This blind is unbelievably covered in this corn. But uh, from what I've heard, overcast tends to make them fly later. So I was thinking about staying till nine, but I might even stick it out a little longer than that because I did bring some snacks and a couple beverages. So. I'd like to get at least one goose on the ground. 
and uh I've only seen 30 geese like I said and there's definitely over 300 on that roost and they haven't gotten up because I can hear all the way over there so pretty dead this morning it's probably another reason they're not decoying with no wind but we'll see what happens here you guys stay tuned Let's go. A little two for there, huh? Here's the first one I dumped. Some good sized geese. Not huge, but. Here's the second one. A little bit smaller one. No bands again. Caught me off guard. They uh, came from the left, kinda. And they were coming low. I think they were actually about to land on my left side. But I stopped them, so. Two down, three to go. Well, as you guys can see, I've got two here. We just had another line of probably eight to ten, I think. Come over the hill from the roost over there. They split into two groups and they landed separately about a hundred yards that way. So hopefully the rest of the groups don't decide to land next to them instead of my nice decoys here. And we got a huge line coming for, oh my golly. So we'll take the hint off of these groups and might need to do something about it, but they're coming right at us. <laughs> oh, please come over. Are you serious? Go down. Well, missed an opportunity at uh, what should have been three geese and three shots there. They were way close. Probably the best that I've had any birds decoy today so far. And missed all three shots. Pulled up and had a corn stalk on my barrel and that threw me off big time and was just looking for a bird to hit after that and very disappointed about that but we'll see what happens here I guess. That could have been the last of them. There was a lot of birds in the air when I shot at those so I spooked a lot. There's two groups of geese in the field with me right now. There's three over here and there's a few straight out in front of me a ways so hopefully that doesn't deter the geese from coming into my decoys I'm gonna stick it out as long as possible here i'd really like to get one more if not maybe even my limit i've got two wounded one i think he landed back over by the rig somewhere i'm not sure but stay tuned no. 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 Let's go, baby. Number three. <laughs> he did it absolutely filthy. Wow. That was awesome. Single, he came from all the way over by the roost, all the way in, just glided. Hope you guys seen that good. I had my flap kind of over the GoPro, but that's number three. It's about 9.30. I think we should stick it out for a limit. Stay tuned.
Well, I got three. That last one I killed was a giant compared to the other ones, that one there. Um, it's 940. Probably gonna stick it out for another hour for sure. And see if we can't get our last two. That one came as a single. And he was stupid, did it freaking filthy. I love that. Hope I got that on video for you guys. So let's see if we can't get uh, one or two more to do that. Got a runner. I heard this guy behind, so I rattled off a few calls. And it looked like he was coming my way, so I just sat there still. And I waited until I heard wings. Oh, there's a huge pack of geese right there. I heard this guy's wings behind me, and I thought, oh my god, he's close. So I tried to get out of the blind. And the deal that your feet sit in tripped me up. So I couldn't get turned around in time. But... I managed to hit him, it feels like in the neck, but he uh, kind of acted like he's still alive and wanted to run, so I gave him another one, and then he died, so that's four, one more to go, and it's about 10 o'clock, I think, so just got to hope for another dumb one like that to come in, and that's another absolute giant right there. That's Goose, and I'm at home. I ended up getting four geese. Hey Gary. Hey Lou. Gary's on lunch break here making shells and butter. Not Goose. Got the Goose in the crock pot, gonna make some roast out of it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, field hunt. Ended up getting four, wounded one, so practically five but I didn't find them so yeah me and Gary are probably gonna go out tonight um, I'll be filming for Gary because I got my limit already today but uh, should be good gonna hunt the same field again just in a different location because there's a lot of geese in there yet to be shot so hope you guys enjoyed like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for the next one